Hey, this is Matt, and today we're going to look at a quick start of the back tester. Signing in, running a test, and seeing the results. So when you go to wheel.orats.com, you'll be asked for a login. Go do that. Type in your email address, and it'll say that it sent you a link. Go to your email click on the link that we sent you and it will send you to a sheet that shows you the back tester. And when you get to orats, wheel.orats.com, you'll see you know, a blank screen here. This is where when you start running your back test, you'll see them. Uh, you'll see on the left back test or a scan. The scan is a different product. Um, you see your email and this is where you could log out or um, see what email you're using. So we're at back test and so let's create a new back test. And you could see here that um, we're on the free pan so we only get IBM as a symbol so normally you could enter other uh, symbols here if you go to upgrade. Um, and we'll talk about these other types of more complicated and complex uh, and powerful things you could do with multiple symbols and weightings and exit and entry sin signals in a different email. Uh, you could click a, a strategy here we're already on long call uh, and you could you could set all these days to expiration but why don't we just go ahead and submit this with the default parameters and what will happen is uh, in a moment uh, it will start to process this uh, back test and it takes uh, a minute and while that's processing we could go and, and create another one so again it's IBM let's try a different strategy now there are a whole host of strategies that you could do here and there's also a way to combine different strategies so it's almost an infinite number of strategies that you could do again combining will be in a different video uh, so let's do a, uh, I don't know, a short call spread so the short call spread goes in and it automatically sets up your days to expiration uh, the short call days to expiration and a long call days to expiration so let's go you could also do strike selection so strike selection um, you could choose either absolute delta or stock out of the money percentage and it's explained in each one of the parameters above so these are the deltas so 30 delta and we set a min max of 20 to 50 so we'll be sure to get that or find that in any particular day during this expiration. So what this is basically setting up is a, a historical scanner to simulate a, uh, a trade and then you trade uh, the way it works is that you'll trade and then when you exit, whether it's an expiration or an exit date, you'll roll into a new trade. So and then you could set a, a, a date range. Uh, we, we go back to 2007 in ours and it um, updates um, to the latest day here and then there are additional things and then we'll get into each one of these in different videos but this being a quick start um, let's go and uh, go back to back tests here and take a look at what a, a back test result looks like so in this particular result just buying a long call um, you know and then it, it also shows all of the inputs that you did so it's a 30 delta long call um, you see that you lost money and this is the annual annualized return over the life of the back test so for example and then we show you the graph of the back test so you know it's slightly negative for IBM uh, and you could see here you know how the how the uh, strategy performed uh, sharp ratios max drawdowns Again, we're going to explain these in, in subsequent videos, but there's quite a bit of statistical information. Uh, also, there's some monthly returns, so we show you how back tests perform in each month and in each year. And we also show the sharp for each year. And then we show each trade, so that's kind of nice. So you, sh you could see what the trades are, and you could also download those results. So uh, that's what we wanted to accomplish today, signing in, running a test, and looking at the results so if you like this subscribe you can see the videos as they come out uh, and thanks for watching